Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel again. I've been wandering around the stores, you know, looking for things that I can do quick reviews on. And I, I, I'll tell you, I just can't pass up a flashlight. Anything with light, I, I should call this the flashlight channel, the gear flashlight channel or something. Anyway, uh, I've been looking at all these different kind of lanterns, everything from propane to LEDs and fluorescent and everything. Because, you know, flashlights have their purpose, but to light up an entire room 360 degrees, I haven't really done any reviews on any type of lantern. Now, there are ones that go up to like 200 lumens as far as LED flashlights concerned. Some rechargeable by Coleman. Really cool, really nice. Some, uh, did I say they were rechargeable? Some rechargeable, some with regular batteries. But I wanted to find something a little bit cheaper and I wanted to find something a little unique or a little bit different from the mainstream, you know, super bright last nine hours or five hours, whatever. Anyway, I came across something by Energizer. You know, Energizer has been coming out with some pretty cool flashlights and I do have another one coming up in the near future. But this particular one claims to have, uh, it claims to last 500 hours. Now, of course, when you start reading the fine print, it's on the low setting but it's supposed to last a very long time like if you used to have five hours a day and you had it on the low setting theoretically it should last three and a half months on the one set of batteries which are by the way three D batteries but um, it, it's very inexpensive it was like seventeen dollars and it comes with a little keychain flashlight on top so what I was going to do is I was going to use this as my primary light source in this room for the, you know, for however long it lasts. So, now I'm not sure I can get away with having the low setting. It's probably going to end up having to be the, the bright setting. But let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to have to use a knife, ain't I? Ugh. No! I got it. Success. So on the high setting it has, uh... I don't know, it's like 42 lumens, it's not going to break any kind of tactical uh, lumen record. But I remember reading somewhere that, you know, it was in like the 42, 45 lumen range on the high setting. Uh, let's see. So, on the top of this thing there's a keychain light to entertain the kids with. And does it work? <laughs> huh. There we go. So, if you want a cheap one to put on your keychain, you really got to press it hard. Um, so, I don't like it as good as my iNova. So, let's see, how do we open this up? Got to twist it. Twist. That opens up. Okay, I'm trying to get inside this thing. I should have read the instructions, should I? Okay, what you have to do, <laughs> for those of you like me who don't read the instructions, you got to twist this. It's like a bayonet mount. There we go. And we got to put in the three D batteries into here. And it shows you which way they go, up or down. They have little pictures depicting the battery. So we'll go ahead and put this, like this in here. That goes up. That goes up. And one goes down. Two go up, one goes down. And there we go. Now, how do I get this back in? <laughs> oh, these things. Too many moving parts today. Trying to get it figured out. Let's see. Am I going to get it? I think I'm going to get it. There we go. So before I put the top on, let's let's play with the buttons. I'm going to turn this light off so we can see what the lights do now. Right now it's off. And that would be, I guess, one setting. I don't know. And there's a dimmer setting and a night light. 
So my guess is this is super bright, soda bright, night light, and off. And go ahead and turn on the super bright light setting. There we have it. That's the bright. And I guess they're claiming this this low setting here, this lower setting, is the setting for the 500 hours, which are the two LEDs that it has in there. And I'll tell you, that is uh, kind of bright. That's not too terribly bad. I could look pretty spooky. And it has a night light and off. Bright. I'll tell you, the uh, LEDs that are in here, like, the, you know, it has the light bulb. I think it said it was a Krylon light bulb. And you get the, and the LEDs are pretty bright also. It's pretty impressive. And off. Or night light and off. Ooh, bright light. Okay. And again, you get the keychain. And that stows here on the top. Take these directions off since uh, I didn't follow them anyway. So I'm gonna sort of uh, keep this in this room and um, try to use this as my pr primary light sauce in here and, and see how long it lasts. Now, here's a interesting thing. Oh, by the way, this is weatherproof. It had an O-ring in here when you so when you tighten it back up, make sure you you get it nice and tight so you get a good seal to make it weatherproof. Looks like it has some uh, reflective tape on here too to help find it. The thing you hear in shake is just a key ring on, on the back of this. Now on the bottom, it looks like it has a hook so you can sort of hang it up. So you hang it up in a tent or whatever, and it could light up your tent. Pretty good, pretty neat. And I like the whole night light setting, so I'm gonna see, uh, test this thing out, see how long the batteries really do last, and I want to look up one or two things, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found out what I was looking for. I'm gonna open this back up again. I should have made it so tight. Go ahead and just twist this top off. So, this bulb in the middle is a Krypton bulb, spelt K. Ah, and I lost it. Krypton, Krypton, Krypton. Come on, Fred. <sighs> okay, K R Y P T O N. So, Krypton bulb is my guess. I remember seeing these in a, you know in a regular flashlights before the LEDs came along. It actually does have a filament in it, I can see. And then of course you have the LEDs and then the night light. So pretty neat. So your your brightest setting is that Krypton bulb and that's the one that's going to eat up your batteries a lot. The second setting is the three very bright LEDs and that's what's supposed to last. 500 hours. So I'm going to try to use those LEDs to uh, see if I can sort of work in this room with that amount of light. And then of course you got the night light. You can see it's barely lit there unless I bring it up. So anyway, we'll put it to the test, see if it's worth $17. I mean, I don't have very high expectations for a $17 lantern. But um, so far it seems like it's well made, pretty solid. I found a couple of reviews on Amazon that were all uh, five star, maybe one four star. I think the person gave it a four star because the instructions said it said something that he thought was incorrect. So he took a star away from it. But for all intents and purposes, as far as the product is concerned, it's five stars according to the reviews. So my, my initial feelings is that it, it is pretty sturdy. It's not extremely bright. Again, you can find some um, 
other lanterns out there for about the $30 price range made by Coleman that have 200 lumens, super, super bright. But again, you know, they're not going to last very long um, putting out that kind of light, probably about 8-9 hours at the most. So I'm going to see if I can live with something that gives you 500 hours and actually see if it does live up to that name by using it in here about five hours a night it should be good for three and a half months or five hours a night every evening so with that thank you very much for again stopping by the gear obsession channel i appreciate friends subscribers viewers I don't know why you keep on coming back but i'm glad you do thank you very much and have a great day